I think the number one thing that whenever I've spoken to students, um, I think you have to make everything personal to you. You have to put yourself in the character's place and find something from your life that will help connect you to the song. Some songs, you connect them immediately and you don't even have to really work at it and, and then you can just work at deepening it. But some songs you get and, and you're like, I have no idea, like I, I feel nothing for this. And that's when the harder work comes in. Um, I, I studied with a lot of really great um, acting, acting the song teachers. And uh, Craig Carnelia was probably the one I studied with the longest. And he was so good at helping students find their way into a song. It was, I mean, going to his class, I love getting up to work, but I also just loved watching him work with students because he just had this uncanny ability to, he would just talk to, talk to you about something from your life that he thought might connect to the song. And he would lead you right into the song and immediately like made everybody's work a million times better. And I, I always took from watching that, that you have to have to make a song personal and you have to think about your acting before you're singing. I would rather watch somebody in a song acting it and maybe their singing's not perfect, but I would so much rather watch that than somebody just standing there and blankly singing because nine times out of 10, when you're in the song and you're really um, doing something, you're, you're performing some kind of action or you're trying to tell somebody something or you're trying to work something out, your singing will get better too because you're more connected to what you're doing and you're not thinking about your singing. Um, of course, I also think to get to that point where you're able to not think about your singing it takes years of really thinking about your singing. And I think you have to really like put in that work on your vocal technique so you can get to a point where you can not think about it and it's there for you and your voice will go like some, this amazing woman I once worked with who I really admired, she, she said to me, she was like, I just sing and my voice goes wherever it goes. And I just, I don't try to place it in different places. I'm just thinking about what I'm doing. But that's really my number one piece of advice that I, I wish, I wish every young person would, I, I wish I had known it even earlier. Like I, I started learning it kind of in college, but I wish I had gotten that earlier. You know, it really helps. Yeah, I, I did carousel in high school. And there's something about, I played Julie Jordan, and I don't know, like, there's something about that character that I just understood, like, right away, but that I could never really explain it. I remember my high school director, like, asking me questions about, like, why do you think she's doing this? Or, and I was like, I don't know, but I understand her, and I, I don't know why, you know? Um, and I still, when I sing songs from that show, it's just like, it's, I'm just in another world. Like it's, it's just so, I don't know. There are certain characters that you just understand them like innately and, uh, they feel like almost feels like it was written for you and it feels comfortable and it feels like you can really like learn something new every time you sing the song and get, get really deep into it. Um, yeah, and I don't, I don't know why, you know, I've never had an abusive <laughs> husband or boyfriend <laughs> and I didn't grow up, uh, working in a factory and in, in New England, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs>